Hello everyone. On behalf of Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology and the Ministry of Food Processing Industries, I welcome you all for the video demonstration session on processing of strawberry crush and the capacity building component of PM FME scheme. Garden strawberry or commonly known as strawberry is one among the attractive fruits cultivated across the world. The garden strawberry is actually a hybrid of wild strawberries coming from two continents. Strawberries are perennials that need rich soil with lots of organic matter and a slightly acidic pH. The ideal climate for growing strawberries is a temperate climate where the temperature is between 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. Strawberries are not consumed merely as fruits but they are used in variety of food items like jam, squash, ice cream, chocolates, bakery items and desserts. Every 100 grams of strawberries contain 33 kilocalories of energy, 7.68 grams of carbohydrates, 4.89 grams of sugars, 0.67 grams of protein and 2 grams of fiber. Strawberry is loaded with vitamins and minerals as they contain vitamins of B like B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B9 and vitamins E, K and C. The minerals include calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, potassium, phosphorus, zinc and sodium. The strawberry is one of the nutrient fruits. In India, strawberry is cultivated in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Maharashtra. India exports strawberries to countries like Austria, Bangladesh, Germany and the United States. Machineries required The machineries required are Bubble washer Fruit pulper Steam kettle, homogenizer, storage tank, bottling unit, etc. Area An area of 5000 square feet is required to set up this plant. Let us now look at the processing of strawberry crush. Process The ripened strawberries are harvested from the field and shifted to the processing units. Considering the fact that the fruit is highly perishable, care should be exercised while harvesting and dispatching. Once at the processing unit, the strawberries are sorted to remove rotten, over-ripened and contaminated fruits. After sorting is completed, they are loaded into the bubble washer for cleaning dirt and residues. Once cleaned, the fruits are further washed in chlorine water to sanitize the fruits. The sanitized strawberries are then taken to the crushing unit using conveyors. The fruit is crushed to pulp to extract the crush. Meanwhile, the sugar syrup is prepared. Sugar also acts as preservative in the crush. The crush is then homogenized. Homogenization is a process to get uniform texture where sugar syrup, thickener, acidity regulators are added at this stage. All physiochemical parameters such as taste, texture, acidity level, crush concentration, additives level should be in right proportions to achieve a perfect final product. A sample testing is done ahead of packing in this regard. The crush is now pumped into the pasteurization containers which has a temperature maintained between 95 to 98 degrees Celsius. The strawberry crush remains here for 10 to 30 seconds to improve its shelf life. The processed crush is then bottled as required. The packing could be done using plastic bottles, glass containers or tetra packs. The automatic bottling unit fills the strawberry crush in the bottles and seals the containers 
and they are sanitized before the bottles are packed. These bottles are packed in cartons for further shipping. There is a huge market scope for ready to serve fruit juices and crushes due to increased health awareness. Till now what you have seen is the modern processing of strawberry crush demonstration video and the PM FME scheme. The Ministry of Food Processing Industries in partnership with the state and the UT governments has launched an all India centrally sponsored Prime Minister formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme for providing financial, technical and business support for the upgradation of existing micro food processing enterprises. For more details, please visit our web links given here.